The City Performing Arts Center is New England's largest nonprofit performing arts center and steward of three of Boston's most prominent theaters, the Wang, Schubert, and Emerson Colonial Theaters. City Center was a leader in the neighborhood revitalization of Boston's historic theater district and remains an economic driver contributing $70 million to the local economy each year. I'm Jenny Johnson for Comcast Newsmakers. At Suffolk University's Modern Theater in downtown Boston, City Performing Arts Center President and CEO Josiah Spaulding is my guest. Joe, welcome to the program. Thank you. It's nice to be here. It's great to have you here. So tell us about the role of the City Performing Arts Center and what role it has as a leader in the community. Well, we're the largest nonprofit in all of New England, and we like to think we're one of the best nonprofit performing arts centers in the country. Uh, and uh, our job is to give back. So we're to have lots of diverse programming that uh, of all different kinds of uh, shows. Uh, and we're also to be, uh, frankly, the supporter of all of our other not-for-profit organizations and community organizations. So, you know, in the past five years, we've uh, done over $2 million in not-for-profit cash and discounts to many other not-for-profit organizations to perform at the, our theaters. Uh, in addition to that, we uh, have a ticket access program where we've given a, some 4,500 tickets uh, with a value of $350,000 last year to 200 community arts organizations. And then finally, we have to take care of three iconic theaters that together are over 300 years of history and they are not cheap to take care of. They're pretty extraordinary theaters. Now, so nonprofits no longer operate alone. So talk about some of the partnerships and why the relationships are so important. Well, uh, we've always believed in uh, partnerships and collaborations. And so we have many of them. Uh, so one we have in the Wang Theater, a very unique booking agreement with Madison Square Garden. Um, and they obviously, as you know, have the Radio City Music Hall, the, the, the Madison Square Garden, mm -hmm. uh, the Beacon Theater, the Chicago Theater, and now the LA Forum. And with us, we provide a way in which we can now compete in the world of trying to get the kinds of artists that we want. We have a partnership with Laugh Boston for the comedy. We have a partnership with Citibank for our naming sponsor. We have a partnership with the Boston Lyric Opera. For opera, we have a partnership with the Celebrity Series for Modern Dance. Uh, and so we believe in that uh, partnership. That enables us, us to be successful, I think more successful, uh, together rather than alone. Okay, so you have been with the theater in Boston for 27 years. Yeah, getting ready to start the 27th Okay, year. which is very impressive. So you've seen the business of the arts change so much. How has the City Performing Center stayed relevant? Well, you know, um, and I actually can tie it to September 11th, 2001. Uh, the world changed. We became a society of last minute. And what do I mean by that? Well, prior to that, 70% of my ticket sales, uh, or our ticket sales, were six months or more in advance. All right, 70%. Today, 70% are two weeks in advance, wow. and sometimes we're on the day of the show. Wow. So that's changed. So you have to be able to use technology. And today, um, despite the fact that I read the newspaper every day, uh, most people do not, and so they don't <laughs> advertise in the newspaper. We advertise in emails and blogs and Twitters and so on. The City Center has many innovative programs. Can you share a couple with us? Uh, sure. Uh, we have a program that we're very fond of called the City Spotlights Leadership Program. This is a summer job program for teenagers in the city of Boston where we actually pay teenagers a minimum wage for 25 hours a week to use the arts to learn 21st century skills. In addition to that, we have Art Week Boston uh, that we've initiated and it's been a great event uh, for everybody around the city. Wonderful, Joe. Well, thanks so much for being here and sharing a little bit about the City Performing Arts Center with us. My pleasure. Thanks for watching Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Jenny Johnson.